there was a good vibe, you know, even though obviously it wasn't going our way early and we we're down big, you know, there was kind of that theme in the dugout, just chip away at this. And, and we were able to hang in there enough. The bullpen did a good job of, of keeping them, keeping them so we could continue to chip away. And then, you know, we string together a big one. And obviously, you know, Gary finishes it off with a big one. That was just a great job by the guys continuing to compete. I think there was any way that Severino was not going to make that play behind home plate there in the void at bat? <clears throat> um, no, I actually looked up and I, I knew it was going to be in play. And then, uh, you know, Kendry's kind of flinched or said something to me. He was right there with me. He said something happened back there where it came back kind of weird. So, um, you know, obviously that opened the door for us. And, and uh, the guys, Luke finished off what was a really good at bat, I thought. And then, and then Gary got it. Glaber said, or I asked him about this team never thinking it's out of a game. He said, we're prepared for everything. Is that part of that? It's not just raw rise. Right. They're prepared for every event. Yeah, I think obviously they're playing with a lot of confidence, and they are. You know, I think, I think the coaches, um, you know, the hitting guys, our pitching plan. They they do a great job of preparing those guys, and and I think they're confident because they b believe in what they're doing, and. Uh, you know, it shows. I mean, they continue to kind of grind out at bats, and when you can do that, you give yourself a chance to have a night like tonight where it's not going your way. How do you concern that Half hasn't been able to get on a roll yet at this point? Um, I don't know. Concern, I mean, I, you know, obviously we want to get him rolling like, he, like he's capable of, and that, that consistency, um, you know, hasn't been there yet. You know, we've seen a lot of good, but we've seen some struggles, obviously. And, I, you know, I think it comes down to really where he starts owning his fastball and that lane and the command of that pitch, which which is his calling card, you know. And uh, once he does that, he'll go on a stretch here where he'll really get it rolling. Aaron, what would you describe your, this, this group's offensive philosophy that they have? <sighs> you know, hit strikes hard, you know. I mean, that's... That's one of it, but control the zone is something we talk about so much. Um, you know, obviously they do a good job, and Marcus and PJ do a good job of preparing these guys for, you know, who they're facing and what they're about to face. So, you know, developing a plan as a group and, and for individual guys. Um, and I feel like if you go up there and control the zone as a group, um, that's going to show up over time, and, and they've done a good job of that. Aaron, I think uh, Sanchez has three go-ahead home runs, I guess, in the ninth inning since last year. Yeah. That matches the entire team in, in that capacity. I mean, has he shown a knack for that, or do you think he has a knack for the, um, the big spot? Yeah, you know, look, when Gary goes up there and, and – and, and throws a good at bat, he's as dangerous as anyone in the world. So, um, you know, that's always my my cry to him is just go have a good at bat and the results will, will take care of themselves. And, um, you know, he's been doing that a lot and, and obviously he's gotten a lot of big hits for us and a lot of big, big homers for us. How do you go about explaining Glaber's success against the Orioles this year? Eight of his 10 home runs against the Orioles, three multi-home run games already this season. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's just... You know, over a course of career, it seems like there's going to be teams that you that you you do well against. There's there's going to be teams that that you struggle against, and and there's sometimes an ebb and flow of that. And when you're probably going to have a long career like Glaber, um, you know, hopefully it's something con that continues for him. But um, you know, I think there's probably been some good matchups for him that he's taken advantage of.